Thanks for joining me for another review. This one is not for a ball. It's instead for the Dexter The 9 HT BOA Color Shifts. I've got a about a month and a half on these, and it's been a hard month and a half with uh, several tournaments, a couple leagues a week, uh, and a couple of filming sessions. But realistically, it took about 10 minutes to form an opinion, and the rest of the time I've had with them has just kind of continued to reinforce those initial impressions. Now, for starters, the first question I'm going to address when anybody asks about a higher dollar pair of shoes or really a higher dollar anything, how well do they hold up? Uh, obviously, it'll be a while before I have any idea about that with, with these shoes, but the major disclaimer here is that stuff lasts forever for me, and when I say forever, I mean uh, pretty well forever, so I'm going to be done with it before, they, before it falls apart. I've had the original Black the Nine since they came out, which I believe has been four years now. I think they came out in 2015. Um, but uh, throughout all the bowling and all the video shoots, and I have one small crack in one of the sole channels. So, I mean, I've got just a little... Probably can't see it there, but I've got just a little crack in the sole channel there. I don't have it in on the other one. I don't have it on this side. I don't have it in this shoe. I don't have it on this side. So, I mean, and these are, like I said, these are the these are the ones I've had and used for four years, and you can barely tell that they've really been used at all. So, anyway, um, I didn't need a new pair of shoes, obviously, but I saw these, and I couldn't resist. I mean, who could, right? So I'm not, I'm not the source to go for go to for durability. However, on the flip side, if something falls apart for me, it's it's junk. It's absolute just garbage. Um, I'm still using my uh, I'm still using the original pads. I mean, I still have the original pads. These are the pads that I that didn't come with the shoe, of course. I bought these and put them on myself when I got these, but. These are the original pads that I've had for four years. Where's my... This is the original shoe cover that I got with the Nine. So you, when you want to... And I use this every time I go to the bar, the bathroom, whatever. And so, you know, so in my, in my opinion, they're virtually an everlasting gobstopper. So just kind of take that how you will. My single complaint about the originals is that they can get hot. They don't breathe very well. And uh, during long filming sessions for videos, it got kind of uncomfortable. Uh, obviously that's an extreme. I didn't really notice any discomfort during league and just, you know, um, slightly wet feet when I got done with like an eight game block or something like that at a tournament. Uh, but, uh, it, it is a factor. I've been looking at the HT model and the new styles, but as I didn't need a new pair of shoes, I never pulled the trigger until the stars kind of aligned for me on this new pair. Now the Boa system really intrigued me on the sixes. But I wasn't a fan of the sixes or the eights. Uh, I have long, narrow feet, and those two styles always felt like I was strapping a, a pair of two by fours to my feet. You know, despite being interested in the Boa system, I couldn't. I just couldn't bring myself to go back to the sixes. And I hoped it would make its way eventually to the nines, which it has now with this. Uh, the system's also been improved with the tie disc on the tongue of the shoe, rather than in the back. It's on the back of the uh, the six Boas, but it's on the it's on the front right here. Um, the HT model also features quite a bit of breathable mesh in here too, so you can see it. You can see it on the front here, and you can see it on the sides. Um, it's a bit different in style, and the color shifting with this new pair looks incredibly sharp. You can't tell in this light right now, but I, I took some video and I did get some pictures. If the light hits it just right, especially out in sunlight, these look really, really sharp. So everything just kind of came together, like I said. So going through and breaking it down element by element, starting with the, the the HT model, they breathe well, and I mean really well. I can feel the uh, I can feel the air moving through my shoes as, as I as I'm walking, which keeps my feet cool and dry. Uh, the comfort is definitely on par or higher than with the original the nines, which are really really comfortable to begin with. And I'd highly recommend pairing them with big four socks to kind of take it over the top. You wouldn't think that performance bowling socks would be a thing, but they are. And it's one of those things that you don't know what you're missing until you try it, and then you'll never bowl without them again. So they, of course, feature the nine technology also with on the sole, which features the soles with the toe cap, with the toe cap attached to the sole here. The channels both allow for more comfort and uh, help with maintaining the integrity of the integrity of the Velcro. Um, this uh, the, the and the toe cap alleviates the toe wear on other shoes. If you do have to get, if you do wear the the toe down, uh, you just have to buy a new sole. You don't have to buy a whole new pair of shoes. It, it also keeps the sole from rolling under. Like if the Velcro would get damaged in the front and the you know 
everybody that's had a pair of sixes knows about the the, the sole kind of rolling under on the front. Um, now, some people have had issues, like I said, with splitting in the channels, but that's not been my experience from a side, like I said, just the little one split right there. And, and I don't, so I don't find it to be a concern personally. Now, as far as durability goes on the toe cap, um, I used to use a power step because I, I push kind of hard with my, with my foot on the, on my push away step. And I wore a power step, not for the extra, not for the extra push, just to kind of protect my toe cap because I was wearing it down. But as you can see on this one, this is also my original, uh, this is also the original shoe or the sole that came on the shoes and I haven't worn that down hardly at all. So uh, definitely a whole lot more durability on this. And like I said, if you do wear it down, all you have to do is change the sole. You don't have to get a new pair of shoes. Now, when it comes to the BOA system, uh, I was initially a bit concerned about the thickness of the laces or the cords, rather the thinness of them, if that's a word. Uh, they do have a lifetime warranty, though, and uh, as the system's been on the six BOAs for uh, two or three years now, and I've literally not heard one case of the laces breaking at all, uh, I don't find any reason for concern there. And you know, usually if you get onto some Facebook groups or something else, you can always find somebody complaining about something. I have literally not heard, whether it's a problem or not, I've literally not heard one instance of the laces breaking in, in however many years. So now the big news on the BOA system though, is if it were to break, you, all you have to do is contact BOA. They'll send you a replacement kit. You can do it yourself, just like changing out uh, any other pair of laces. And you might say, well, you know, what if they're, what if I'm at league and they break in the middle of league? What am I going to do? Well, if you're in the middle of league and you have a lace break in the middle of league, nobody has extra laces on them anyway. So I don't find that to be a, um, I don't find that to be a big deal. And like I said, I've, I haven't heard of them breaking. So I'm, I'm perfectly uh, happy and content. And I, I feel pretty confident that the laces, uh, are going to last the life of the shoe. Now, the system is uh, very simple and incredibly satisfying to use. Uh, the disc is like a button. So you just push down to click it into place. So you just do that and then uh, click it into place, turn right or clockwise, and it will begin tightening the laces. So you just do that. For people with different shaped feet, you can also control where the laces tighten up at. With my feet being long and narrow, I always need to uh, I need to get them virtually as tight as I can down at the bottom or closer to the toes. So to do uh, with the BOA system, all I need to do is lightly squeeze the uh, the sides down here. Uh, while I'm tightening, it'll cinch right up. Now, when you're ready to take them off, all you have to do is uh, click the disc straight back up, releases immediately, and you're good to go. So. Um, if you've ever been late to league or you need to hightail it out of there afterwards, you'll come to quickly appreciate this feature, which helps you get your shoes on and off super, super quick. I mean, it's, it's literally put your, put your foot in the shoe, click the disc, tighten, and you're done. That took me like four seconds. And then when you need to leave, click the disc, they're off. Now the system doesn't slip at all either, so when you've got them where they're going to stay at, they stay there. They're, the, the, the laces are not going to loosen at all. Uh, the shoe flex is enough to alleviate any kind of uh, rigidity that you might assume that there would be with, with cords instead of like just the, you know, the, the softer laces here. But there's plenty of padding on the tongue between your foot and the laces, so there's no discomfort. And there's nothing but positives for me with the, with the system, in my opinion. Now, the color shifting is, is really cool. It's like the scent on a storm ball. Is it really necessary? Probably not, but it looks really sharp. Uh, it's different. It's unique. And I do find myself looking at the shoes quite a bit to see the effect or see how the light's going to hit them. Uh, some... You know, if some centers are darker, some have have better lighting. Uh, sunlight is will really make these things pop. Um, and depending on the type of the lights and where the light is coming from, they can be purple, blue, orange, green, bright yellow, all the above at the same time. Um, but all in all, when you look at the shoe as a whole, there's several improvements on something that I didn't feel had much room for improvement in the first place, aside from breathability. Uh, so even if you're not in the market for shoes, all the feature of the 9HT Boas uh, give you plenty of solid excuses to upgrade. And if you are shoe shopping, I just I don't know why you wouldn't go this direction. So, um, so far I haven't noticed any negatives. If they do pop up, I'll share them. But these get perfect marks from me. Also, little disclaimer here at the end, I'm not associated with Dexter. I was not comp these shoes to review. I saw them, I liked them, I bought them, and these are my unbiased observations and opinions. Thanks for watching.